Do you ever dream of joining a K-pop audition, but feel like everyone else is better than you? Today I'm going to reveal the secret daily routine to become the best K-pop trainee of all time. With this cheat code, you will impress every company and make them want you as their next K-pop idol. Don't be fooled by those top trainees who seem to have natural talent. They have been planning and preparing for this even before joining the K-pop audition. And you, you want to become a K-pop idol so badly, but you don't have any plan. Watch this video till the end and I'll show you the daily routine you should follow every day before you rush to join the audition blindly. The first daily routine you should practice is confidence. Many people think that being good at singing and dancing is the key, but a lot of them fail at the very beginning because they don't know how to show confidence. Some K-pop trainees can't even look at the judge's face when they go to the audition. And that's a big red flag for K-pop companies. A super smart tactic that smarts people use when they audition on stage is to avoid looking at their eyes. If you are afraid to look at their eyes, you can look at their forehead instead. They won't be able to tell the difference, and more importantly, they will think you are confident. But confidence can be built by your daily routine. Sometimes you lose confidence because you compare yourself to people who are better than you. So, stop doing that. Everyone is different and has their own strengths and weaknesses. Sometimes your weakness is what makes you special. Another possible way to show confidence is to learn how to smile correctly. This one is easy, you can look on the internet and find the way to smile correctly for your face type because different face structures have to smile differently to show your beauty. Surround yourself with positive and talkative people who can also give you more confidence about yourself day by day. Take care of your body, learn how to make yourself look clean, dress nice and smell good every day. That will also give you confidence when you go on stage or talk with other people. Use positive self-talk. Positive self-talk is the act of talking to yourself in a supportive and encouraging way. Because when you become a K-pop idol, you have to be in a good mood and confident all the time, and nobody will encourage you when you're down, so learn positive self-talk. The second daily routine is, take dance classes. You can't be a K-pop star without being a great dancer. You need to be able to dance well and learn different styles and genres. You can't just stick to one style, you need to be versatile and adaptable, you can also watch online tutorials and videos to learn new moves and skills. But don't just watch them, practice them until you master them, practice until you didn't feel any pain when you dancing the hard part. Practice the hardest dancing style from other K-pop idol, record yourself dancing every week and compare it to the last week. If you didn't get any better from your last week you have to hire a coach to teach you properly. The third daily routine is, practice singing the right way. And by the right way, I mean with a professional coach or a singing class if you can afford it. You can't be a K-pop star without being a great singer. Singing is another essential skill for a K-pop trainee and idol. You need to have a good voice and be able to sing in different languages and styles. You can't just sing any way you want, you need to follow the rules and standards of the industry. A vocal coach can help you improve your vocal range, tone, pitch, and technique. Some people fail because they think they already have a good voice, so why do they need to spend money on a coach? You might have a good voice but you didn't know the technique and standard of K-pop song. And if they see other people have a good voice and they also know the technique, you might be not their first choice. The fourth daily routine is, familiarize yourself with Korean culture and language. You can't be a K-pop star without knowing Korean culture and language. It's not optional, it's mandatory. If you want to be a K-pop star, you need to be able to communicate and interact with the Korean staff, judges, and fans. You need to show them that you respect and appreciate their culture and their people. And the best way to do that is by learning their language. If you're smart enough, you should learn at least the basics of Korean from K-dramas. That's the most fun and easy way to learn. But don't just watch them, study them. Take notes, repeat the phrases, memorize the words. Practice to speak Korean every day as your daily routine, because they won't allow you to speak English when you become a trainee. And trust me, you don't want to be left out or misunderstood because of the language barrier. The fifth detail is, and you have to maintain a healthy diet and exercise routine. You can't afford to slack off on this aspect if you want to make it in the K-pop industry. Appearance is everything, and you have to look flawless and stunning on camera. You should eat nutritious meals that are low in calories, fat, and sugar, and avoid anything that can harm your body or skin, such as junk food, alcohol, and smoking. You should also exercise diligently to keep your body toned and fit, and boost your stamina and endurance. You can do any kind of physical activity that you enjoy, such as cardio, strength training, yoga, or dancing. But remember, moderation is key. Don't overdo it or starve yourself, as that can lead to serious health problems. Follow the examples of your favorite K-pop idols who follow strict diets and workouts to achieve their perfect figures. But also treat yourself occasionally with some rewards and indulgences. You deserve it. The sixth daily routine is, 
practice your audition songs and routines. You can't be a K-pop star without nailing your audition songs and routines. They are the key to impressing the judges and getting accepted as a trainee. You should choose songs that showcase your vocal range, style, and personality. But don't try to be a jack of all trades, master of none. You need to focus on one style only and be the best at it. If you're good at rapping, just choose a rapping song to practice every day. Don't waste your time on other genres that don't suit you. Make sure you master one style before you join the audition. And don't just practice the song, practice the whole performance. You need to practice your dance moves, your facial expressions, your stage presence. You need to practice until you feel confident and comfortable with your performance. The seventh daily routine is get enough sleep and rest. The seventh and last thing you need to do is to get enough sleep and rest. This is vital for your well-being as a K-pop trainee. Being a K-pop trainee can be very stressful and exhausting as you have to work hard and face a lot of pressure and competition. You need to take care of your mental and physical health by giving yourself enough time to sleep and rest. You should aim to sleep at least seven hours a night and avoid staying up late or pulling all-nighters as that can affect your performance and mood. You should also take breaks from practicing and relax your mind and body. You can listen to music, read a book, meditate, or do anything that makes you happy and calm. Don't forget that you are not a machine, but a human being who needs to recharge and refresh. The eighth routine is watching K-pop videos and performances every day and learn at least one new thing from them every single day. The eighth and most fun routine is to watch K-pop videos and performances every day and learn at least one new thing from them every single day. You should immerse yourself in the world of K-pop and study the styles, techniques, and trends of your favorite K-pop idols and groups. You should also learn from their mistakes and feedbacks and see how they improve and grow over time. You can watch their music videos, live stages, variety shows, interviews, or documentaries. You can also watch their dance practices, behind the scenes, or fan-made videos. This will help you get inspired and motivated by their success stories and also learn about their personalities, charms, and struggles. Watching K-pop videos and performances will also help you develop your own style and identity as a K-pop trainee. The ninth routine is research the entertainment companies you want to audition for. Don't join any K-pop audition blindly, not all company are good. You need to do the research the companies you want to audition. You should know their history, vision, values, and expectations. You should also know their audition process, requirements, and tips. You can visit their websites, social media accounts, or blogs to get more information. This will help you prepare better and impress them with your knowledge. The 10th routine is network with other K-pop trainees and fans. If you are already in a K-pop fan club like ARMY and Blink that would also help. You should join online communities and forums where you can share your experiences, tips, and support with other aspiring K-pop stars. You should also attend K-pop events and concerts where you can meet new people and learn from them. This will help you make friends and connections in the industry. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so please consider subscribing if you think this video is helpful for you.